Today, we're gonna repair an impeller pin. We're gonna diagnose how to tell which pin it is. The three that you look at is that one. The one inside there you cannot see. And then the other one you look at there. But sometimes you can't tell if it's broken. But if that impeller spins while the machine's not moving, you're gonna have a sheared pin. And you got three to look at. That one, that one, and this one. This one I have in another video. But the difference in this video is, we're not gonna work on a brand new machine. We're actually gonna do it with a machine that's covered in fertilizer, it's disgusting, and it's before the sun comes up. And you'll see it's really not that hard, even with a disgusting machine. Oh, I do have a light. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, to determine if it's the roll pin on the top, we know it's not this pin here because we can see that it's through there. But with the impeller turning and the shaft doesn't turn, then you know that that pin down here is good. And if the, oh, if the yeah, see pin. the shaft doesn't turn and the impeller does, then you know it's this pin right here. So if you know you can fix this pin without taking it all apart, you just got to punch out the. Uh, old pin right here and punch in a new one. Yep. Alright, for the uh, roll pin on the top, the tools you'll need is a small hammer and a 1 8 inch punch and then you'll need a 1 8 roll pin stainless steel. Only needs to be about an inch and a quarter. That's all you need for tools, hammer and a 1 8 inch punch, you know, and then your roll pin, at least an inch and a quarter long. How to get it through. Okay, all right, now picked it up. Turn that tire around, you should see the broken pin coming out the other side. We do. Okay, see how it's broken? Look at that pin broken half, see that? See it? Yep. All right, go ahead and pull that pin on out of there. You may need pliers to do it if you can't get it with your hands. Or we can take that punch and go on all the way through, unless that is the punch. Yeah, that's the no, that's not. Pin. Yeah, that's the pin. Here, I'm going to turn the tire. Go ahead and turn it. Don't hold the impeller, you'll break the other pin. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. No, don't pull that out. I'd leave it in. Yeah, so you'll lose You'll where, lose where you are. You're, oh, you know, I see what you mean. You're lined up. Oh, I'll keep your marked. There you go. That pin's not okay, lifted lift it up. up. There's the pin. You see, there's your... Leave it there so you can just see how it's come out. I don't know if I'll rest it. If that's the roll pin there, or if that, that's the punch. So the punch went all the way through to there. Remember that impeller can work its way down, so we, I think it should be good now, but when that pin's out, it can drop down. You want it to go until it's flush. Alright, don't turn the impeller. Look the tire up and it should be fixed. Whoa! There you go. Go slow. See That's how it perfect. is? Yeah, it's fixed. See how it sticks out both sides? Yep. That's about an inch and a third, quarter inch pin. Roll pin. Alright, good to know. Now, you have to do a better job washing your spreader. 